Hello everyone, I'm James Wu from Dinstar. Today I will demonstrate the, how to use our analog gateway FXS port to register to the SIP server. And uh, here we can see that uh, there are a lot of the uh, models here. If you got uh, any models, of course here we can use the hybrid models or maybe purely FXS model also no problem. Here we can see the diagram here. Here, if you have any FXS, maybe PBX, you can use a PBX and you can use our FXS to register to the, your PBX. And here we can connect to your analog gateways. If you got any analog phones, you can plug into our RG1 port. Okay. Of course, if you got any extensions, you can, if you leave the phone registered, if the FXS registered, then you can make a call each other. Okay. So it's a very straightforward, very simple scenario for the implement in maybe the college or university campus or large enterprise environment and so on. So you can refer always refer, refer to website our website to see more about the details. Anyway, let's be back to our system here. First of all, you have to Select one port if you want to use the one port to uh, register to as an uh, extension. Here we, we, I think you can see that we put the username and the user ID and the password already. And uh, please make sure you have to create the extensions. For example, here one star and, and the password in the your PBX site. Okay. Uh, if you want to use our FXS as extensions in the your PBX or in your SIP server, you have to create the SIP account or SIP extension first. After that, you, you enter the password and username from here. And now, uh, after that, you can click the SIP server. Your, you put the SIP server IP here. Now we use this IP. This IP actually is uh, our PBX or other party PBX server IP and uh, port number by default. So after registration, as this would be no problem, you can see that uh, our FSS register ready. Uh, it means that uh, you can use the plugin your FX, FFS or analog phones to make call, maybe make other calls or call to extensions or call the outgoing call. And uh, if you register the, to the Maybe your UC or PBS system then they failed, or maybe some something maybe cost. Maybe your blacklist your your PBS your FXS and to blacklist already, or maybe the port number is correct or incorrect, or maybe your username or password somewhere wrong. So please make sure that uh, you check the some problem. And uh, after that, uh, I think it should be no problem to, to um, register to your server. So it's very straightforward registration procedure. After that, after registration is done, you can make you can make calls, make call to maybe other extensions by analog phones. Of course, other SIP phone or analog phones also can call this number. Okay, so this step is done for the FIS registration. If you got any problems, of course, you always can check our website to contact us or maybe go to the website, download user manuals. There are a lot of the documentation here. Uh, instruct you how to log in the system or maybe how to change username, password and so on. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.